Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to five minutes crypto the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just five minutes back again with another interesting episode now first of all three reasons why bloomberg calling bitcoin a resting bull is inaccurate Bloomberg senior commodities strategist Mike McGlone recently released a mid-year crypto outlook which states that Bitcoin volatility should continue to decrease as the assets behaves more like gold. The report also says that the primary demand and adoption indicators remain positive. Now, in this report, he says that there will be a breakout with a target at the $13,000 resistance. Although this perspective is defensible, the arguments presented look to be a little bit flawed. The correlation metrics for the past six months have drawn Bitcoin away from gold's hedge status as it has been trading in sync with the S&P 500 for most of the time. And regarding the OFT mentioned surge in demand, the recently reported inflow to Grayscale Investments' funds cannot be interpreted as new money entering the space. The same can be said about the record-breaking increases in Bitcoin futures, open interest as every derivative instrument needs a buyer and seller of the exact same size. And now more, I guess, elaborate stuff is explained in the article, but you get the basic drift of it. There's a big discussion going on right now and it's being quite trendy, I'm assuming here. I think a lot of people are interested in this claim. Philippines SEC flags three unauthorized crypto firms. Good to know. However, you are most likely not involved with them anyway. Philippines SEC warns investors against three crypto firms. In its warning, the Philippines SEC encouraged the public to exercise caution in dealing with Forsage or Forsage, our cash online, and the St. John of Jerusalem Knights of Malta Foundation of the Philippines Inc. That's a, <laughs> that's an that's the whole name you got right there. And uh basically just watch out for these three firms. Don't do anything with them, avoid them at all costs, and um yeah, stay stay on the watch, guys. Stay on the watch. Hackers exploit vulnerability in Ravencoin protocol to mint 315 million fake RVN coins. Ravencoin is the latest altcoin project to suffer an inflation bug after discovering an attack that saw rogue actors mint 315 million counterfeit RVN tokens, which is about 1.5% of the total supply of 21 billion, which definitely is, is quite a lot and um, definitely might be a little bit of a problem to the project here. But yeah, uh, I'm personally not holding any Raven, but I thought for the people that do hold it, this might be interesting. Cardano ADA may soon crater by 25% as massive resistance looms. And the same kind of goes on for VeChain right now. It's a little bit of the same situation going on where people are saying that they've gone up so much right now in the last couple of days. VeChain 65 at least percent in the last seven days and Cardano probably has done about roughly the same. Yeah, people are saying, well, it's done that, so it's going to fall off right now, which is something you should be cautious of. However, there are, I guess, also very big indicators suggesting that the price is going to keep continuing upwards from here, which is, again, why it's always so difficult to tell you guys exactly what to do. I personally always recommend to just keep holding some of the coins, but some will say it's better to just sell them now and buy back later. But I really think it's a difficult choice to make as if you sell them now and the price goes back up further. Yeah, you've just lost out on quite a lot of just free gains. Uh, but if you hold on now and the price goes back down, maybe these gains were all for nothing. It's a difficult choice. Libra book cutting room floor. Libra as stablecoin, the early history of stablecoins. Very uh, interesting yet kind of stupid article because I personally think Libra is, is kind of a lost cause right now. And what, I, what I'm thinking about Libra is we're going to have to wait a couple, at least months, but I want to say years to really see exactly what they're going to be rolling out and exactly what their plans are. The way it's looking right now it's all just a work in progress, which is going to take time and time again, another hurdle, another hurdle, another hurdle, and maybe really never get off the ground, which is why I would say don't worry too much about it and kind of wait for what is to come. But again, that is just my opinion. Maybe you're not of the same one. And uh, again, then you do you. 
Cardano Foundation is not involved in promoting ADA to rich Chinese farmers. A little bit of a rumor was going around. IOHK CEO Charles Hoskinson says the events that are promoting Cardano in China are illegal and no, Chinese farmers are not behind Cardano's price rally. There's no shortage of pyramid schemes, however. Charles says, I'll have someone contact you. Please do not automatically assume these types of events are coordinated by us. They are also done with every other top 10 cryptocurrency. They are scams. I really do not appreciate the implication, which is again uh, referring to an MLM campaign, which some were saying was caused by Cardano themselves to get the price up. But again, it's, it's, it's always difficult to prove they're not doing it. However, I would say I, I'm really in love with Cardano for a longer time. I don't know why they would want to try that, something like that to just ruin their integrity all the way. But all right, guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And again, don't, don't, don't forget to comment down below what type of news I missed or what I should talk about next. Because I'm going to try make 5-Minute Crypto a daily thing. But I also want to see some feedback from you. Should I should I do just five minute videos every single day and then one big one hour update every week on maybe like Sunday or so? Or what should I do? Because I want to make sure that everybody gets all the news. But I also want to just make it five or maybe ten minutes to make sure you can just quickly watch it and move on. But yeah, on DustyBC, I more so do all the type of stuff that you want to know about, all the, the crypto, all coin, really in-depth and here, I just want to give you some really plain Jane info, not really in depth, but just uh, kind of kind of just on the surface. So you have an idea of what's going on in the space, the bigger moves, the bigger parts. But yeah, let me know some feedback. and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care and have a very, very nice day.